So here, we're trying to download pre-trained water vectors. Now we're using something here, like uh, it's a text module. Embedding, we can get pre-trained models. We actually have Glow and fast text to kind of models. For each model, you can you can get all this like we can for each model we can pre-train all different data sets. The first one is actually all this Wikipedia. So the the name itself means 24 billion, which means it's pre-trained on Wikipedia with 24 billion words. And 300 D means the embedding dimension is 300. You can see like uh, um, it is a tiny, it's a two B fifty dimensions smaller, and also like uh, also Twitter, uh, we are, we can we have pre trained a model in the Twitter that I said contains like twenty seven billion words, and each was mapped to twenty five dimension vectors. So we can go, given the name, we can grab the model we train on particular data set. We just uh, give the algorithm name, the file name, we can get the embeddings, and we can. The word size is like uh, the, the dictionary size, the vocabulary size is 400,000 plus one. The one is unknown, it's unknown token. Like the other one is actually a real token. Okay? So given is that this embedding have its own vocabulary, given the words, beautiful, you can get the index. Like token to index, like also index to token, given index, we can get a token. So this kind of have a vocabulary in the dictionary, uh, in the embedding. Now let's look at like how to apply these ones. Like, firstly, find similar words. Again, this is the thing we have before. Like, given a query and find the top k words in the embeddings. So I can ignore that. And also, like uh, this is kind of do the cosine similarity. How to do the things? I ignore that. So here, uh, again, do that again. Given a chip, the top three thing uh, is like chips. I ignore the, f the top one is ignored. The top one is just identical identity to each, uh, the identical word to it. The uh, second one is uh, Intel, like in, in electronics, like uh, baby, babies, boy, girl, beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, wonderful. Do you want to try any words? And let me try Berkeley. Okay, Harvard <laughs> University graduate. Anyone? No. Anyone? Uh, uh huh. Apple. Apple. Okay, uh, iPhone, um, Blackberry, like it's a very old data set. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what about Amazon? Okay, <laughs> Amazon.com, like I, I, I don't know what that means, like unbox. But, um, so the first one is like find s similar words. The second one is more interesting, like find uh, analogies. So the analogies just means I given two tokens A and a B, I try to find the relations, I want to, you to find the relations between A and B, and uh, given the C, I try to find another one which should be equals to like uh, have the same relationship between uh, um, as A and B has. So what do we do here? Given A, we get the vectors, A's vector minus B's vector, oh sorry, this is B's vector minus A's vector, which is the, the correlations, and apply to the C to get the D's vector, and trying to find that D actually have the embedding most close to that, okay? Then let's do something. Given a man, uh, man and a woman, and like uh, this is male and female relations. Given son, you get a daughter. Okay, and given U.S. Washington, this is nation to cap uh, capital. Given China, you get a Beijing. Uh, similarly, bad, worst, big, you get biggest. Like. Do, did, go, you get a went. Okay, do you have anything to try? Let me try, maybe try this one. Like, uh, uh, let me try this one, boy. Hey, you get a girl. And maybe I try Japan. 
Well, well, that's that's interesting. Japan get it. Well, that's interesting. Let me, let me do that again. Let me China, Beijing. Well, sometimes like not always works. Like uh, bad, wor worst, big. You want to change other one? Small. Well, that's that's wrong actually. <laughs> uh, and nice. Well, wow, this is wrong, totally wrong. Like, uh, oh, well, do it went. Like, uh, do you want to try a word? Which word do you want to pick? Think. Think. <laughs> wow, that's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, that's like, kind of like this is not the major uh, application of word embedding. The major ones, like um, the major usage of word embedding, is not find all the things. The major ones, like we map each word into a compact vector space so that they have some semantic menace. So we can we can use it as a feature structure to words to get the middle features and to fit into another task. So next week we will talk about how to use this pre trained embedding to do like sentiment uh, classifications and also talk more like uh, machine translation and other NLPs in the next week. Okay, that's all. Thanks.